Today, we're diving into a surprising twist in the tech world. Huawei's Harmony OS Next Operating Wisdom can run Android apps. Yes, you heard that right. Let's break down how this is possible and what it means for Huawei users and the smartphone industry. To start, Harmony OS Next is Huawei's latest operating system that ditches Android entirely. It's built on Huawei's own Harmony kernel, uses the Kanji programming language, and incorporates the powerful Pangu AI model. This operating system doesn't include any Android code, so it may come as a shock that Android apps can still run on Harmony OS Next devices. Recently, Huawei announced that all its 2025 device releases, including the flagship Mate 70 series, will ship with Harmony OS Next pre-installed. While the company is running a public beta for this new OS, a fascinating discovery has been made. A beta tester shared on Reddit that an Android emulator named Easy Abroad is now available on Huawei's App Gallery, the brand's official app store. This emulator is designed for users who rely on Google Mobile Services, GMS, but use Huawei devices, especially those outside of China. So how does Easy Abroad work? The emulator creates a workaround, allowing users to install popular Android apps like YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Google Search, Google Maps, Chrome, Gmail, Disney Plus, and Netflix. These apps can be accessed through a dedicated folder on the smartphone's home screen. However, there are limitations. You cannot place individual app icons directly on your home screen, and there might be occasional issues with notifications and alerts from these Android apps. What makes Easy Abroad so interesting is how it's powered. It uses Micro-G, a free and open source implementation of Google's proprietary libraries. Micro-G effectively replaces Google Play services, providing essential functionality without requiring a Google account or direct connection to Google's servers. But there's a catch. Due to the nature of Micro-G, any Android app blacklisted by its system won't run on the emulator. The performance of this emulator has also been put to the test. A YouTube content creator recently demonstrated Easy Abroad on the latest Harmony OS Next beta. The results were promising. Android apps loaded quickly and ran smoothly in most cases. This shows that even without Google's direct involvement, Huawei has found a way to maintain app accessibility for its users. Now, let's rewind a bit to understand why Huawei had to take this route in the first place. Back in 2019, the Trump administration placed Huawei on the entity list, which blocked the company from accessing its U.S. supply chain. This included losing access to Google Mobile Services, a critical component for Android functionality. As a result, Huawei pivoted to developing its own operating system, Harmony OS. 